With the arrival of its all-new 2017 CX-5, Mazda has the potential to shake up the world of small and even luxury compact SUVs. The original CX-5 was a solid performing small SUV that stood out for its agile handling and responsive engines, but also for a noisy cabin and somewhat stiff ride. Mazda has largely retained the sporty handling, but has made significant improvements in terms of interior quality, ride comfort, and noise isolation. Only one engine and transmission combination is available, both of which were in the previous generation CX-5. The 187 horsepower, 2.5 liter four-cylinder, which does the job well, is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. The transmission doesn't shift particularly smoothly, nor is it the clunkiest in the segment. Both front and all-wheel drive CX-5s will be available. Out on the road, it's clear that changes have been made to the suspension. Ride comfort has been greatly improved. It's firm, steady, and overall well-controlled. Point the CX-5 into a corner, and it willingly follows the chosen path. It steers nicely and imparts a feeling of confidence. Another big focus of the redesign was cutting down the excessive road, wind, and engine noise of the old CX-5. To address this, Mazda added carpeting in the cargo area and fitted dual door seals, a thicker windshield, and acoustic glass for the front windows. The result is a quieter cabin that gives the CX-5 a more refined, grown-up feel. Top trim Grand Tourings are beautifully fitted with comfortable armrests and soft touch panels, chrome trim, and high quality plastics throughout. It's a far cry from the old model's dour, cheap feeling interior. Seat comfort was very good, particularly with the Grand Touring standard power lumbar adjustment. Access to controls and buttons is easy. Visibility to the front and sides is good, though the rear three-quarter view is challenged by the downward sloping rear roof. The rear seat is roomy enough, though not as generous as those in the Subaru Forester or all-new Honda CR-V. Wide opening doors make it easy to climb inside, and the backrest can recline slightly. Mazda's standard entertainment system uses a central rotary knob and a touchscreen, though oddly, the screen is locked out as soon as the car starts moving. Overall, the system takes some time to get used to, and the menu structure is quite convoluted. We like that Mazda has made low-speed automatic emergency braking standard on all versions of the CX-5 as part of the Smart City braking system. The full-speed system is standard on the Grand Touring and available on Touring trims as part of the iActiveSense package. Blind spot warning is standard on the Touring and Grand Touring trims, but not available at all on the base Sport. The head-up display, optional on the Grand Touring, has a full-color display that includes navigation commands, active safety information, and speed information. Cargo room hasn't changed significantly with the redesign, although the load floor is now nearly flat. A power liftgate is available on the Touring and Grand Touring. Pricing for the CX-5 starts at $24,045, with a front-wheel drive Grand Touring trim like this one topping out at $29,395. Adding all-wheel drive to any trim boosts prices by $1,300. It's conceivable that a loaded Grand Touring could be a roomier, viable alternative to a Buick Encore or Audi Q3. We'll be buying our own CX-5 soon, so check back for updates and final results from our testing. For more on compact SUVs, check out ConsumerReports.org.